Hi everyone and welcome back. This is Let's Paint. Ito yung magiging art segment ng channel ko where I will be sharing tutorials, tips, reviews, tricks, or any questions na gusto yung sagutin ko pa. Today, I will be sharing with you how I painted this one. This is Black Panther from the current movie. And I'm posting the final product scan dito sa screen you right now. This is a full demo. Let's start with the paper. This is the Strathmore Visual Journal for watercolor. Na kuwak siya sa fully book at 970. 300 gsm yung sheets niya. So, kaya niya yung mga heavy wet and wet washes. For this one, gagamitin natin yung New Gamboge, Rhodonite Gin Wine, Indigo, Paints Gray, and Sepia. For the brushes, tatlo lang ginamit ko for this one. This one is yung Raphael. Uh, soft Aqua, number 6. Ito ata yung pinakamalaki nila. Hindi ko lang kung meron silang number 8. And for medium details, ito yung Nif, yung Alvaro Casane line ng Nif, uh, number triple uh, zero. And for the tight details, ito yung Raphael Pettigree, triple uh, zero din. Both nitong Raphael and yung Nif ay natural hair. So, as opposed to yung Raphael Soft Aqua, which is synthetic hair. Pero all of them are mop brushes for watercolor. So, importante na mop brush yung gamitin mo. Kasi for watercolor, kailangan mo ng brush na nag-hold ng maraming water. Para hindi ka nabibitin habang nag nagwa-wash ka. Lalo pag uh, for big spaces, mahirap yung maubusan ka ng paint or ng watercolor. Otherwise, matutuyuan ka sa paper mo. Mabibitin ka. Magkakaroon ka ng... Uh, streaks or lines sa uh, painting mo na hindi mo gusto. And indispensable sa akin yung atomizer or yung water spacer. And of course, I think pag watercolorist ka, kailangan mo ng tissue and uh, scotch bright <laughs> sponge para sa just to get rid of the extra water sa brushes mo. Okay, thank you for making it this far. Join me and magpuposid na tayo sa actual painting process ko. Okay, so mag-start tayo sa line art. And ito yung final drawing ko na. Dito pa lang mapapansin nyo na, na may values na yung lines ko. Uh, para pag nagpaint ako, alam, ma matatandaan ko kung ano yung uh, focal point, yung foreground, yung background, ako na yung, kung yung less interesting subjects. So here may kita nyo na yung focal point natin ay yung face o yung mask ni Black Panther. So I'm testing the colors that I will be using para sa uh, under underpainting natin. Mas prefer ko lang na yung paper ko hindi pute para sa para yung overall design meron siyang mood or meron na siyang atmosphere. So dito ini spread ko na yung buong paper para mas mabilis umandar yung paint. So naglagay na ako ng initial test and then spread ko na sila. You have to remember na um, mag-adjust yung watercolor parate. Mukha silang dark sa simula pero as it dries naglalighten talaga siya for um, ng mga about 30%. At this point, there's no need to be careful. Uh, remember, uh, inisprayan natin yung buong paper. So, don't worry mag-spread mag talaga yung paint evenly kahit magkaroon ng mga watermarks which which is something that you will like okay uh, once nag start na siya mag dry dito gumagamit ako ng heat gun para mas mapabilis yung pag dry nya kung wala kay heat gun uh, normal blow dryer is recommended kasi medyo delikado yung heat gun kasi pag napatagal kayo uh, masyado siyang mainit mag warp talaga yung paper nyo nakikita nyo yung mga watermarks na natira don't bother fixing yung watermarks kasi yun yung gusto nyo mangyari for watercolor yun yung nagbibigay ng distinct watercolor look nya and now we're, uh, we're testing yung indigo we're testing yung tamang timpla ng indigo for yung initial layer nung mask and nung body ni Black Panther. I would love na mas expressive pa yung pagpaint ko rito. Pero since ito yung focal point natin, uh, kailangan talaga na medyo maingat ka sa pagpaint mo. Dahan-dahan, uh, kailangan sharp yung edges, kailangan may mga highlights ka. 
So kung napansin niyo kanina no nag underpainting tayo, ang iniwan lang natin na na white area ay yung eyes. Yun ay para pag natapos yung buong painting, yung eyes, yung mata lang ni Black Panther yung pure white na matitira which will give you yung best contrast possible. By the way, yung underpainting, uh, gumamit tayo ng sepia, rhodonite, gin wine, tsaka yung new gamboge. If you want to try those paints, I'm posting the links kung saan nyo siya mabibili and makakatulog din siya sa akin. So as you can see, uh, I'm taking time. Medyo matagal na proseso ito kasi ito yung focal point. And hindi, iniwasa ko pa mag loose painting. Always have a tissue na hawak-hawak mo sa left hand or right hand kung lefty ka. Kasi you want to be able to lift kung may sumobra ka, kung may mistakes ka, hindi may iwasan nyo the watercolor ito. Dito habang pinipainting ko rin yung mask niya, actually na-realize ko yung mask niya eh parang kamukhang kamukha lang nung mask ni Kick-Ass pero may tenga lang. Don't be afraid to use your fingers para mag-lift or mag-smudge ng paint. The tissue is okay pero masyadong even kasi pag yung tissue So magandang may konting brush strokes or finger marks yung painting nyo para mukha siyang legit na handmade. Habang pinipainting ko ito, I'm thinking na sana magawa ko ito in just two layers or less or, or hindi lalagpas ng three layers para mas maganda yung luminosity ng paint. We're proceeding sa body niya. The paint looks darker pero again kasi natutuyo na yung, yung paint sa face niya. And makikita, makikita nyo later mag even out sila pag natuyo na rin yung paint sa body. So, maingat pa rin yung pagpapaint ko rito kasi may details pa siya. Meron siyang necklace na merong mga ngipin or claws. So, you want to maintain those details kasi masyado pa siyang malapit sa face. So, dapat focal area pa rin siya. Madaling ma malus yung patience nyo dito sa stages ng watercolor na ito kasi watercolor is meant to be played with parang loose yung paint styles mo pag watercolor and pero pag maraming details actually nakakainip siya kasi nagiingat ka and here finally uh, wala na tayo sa focal point area and may kita nyo na mas loose na yung painting style ko rito yung brush strokes ko nag nagkakaroon na ng expressions it's because gusto ko ma, ma feel na nung viewer yung watercolor effect talaga if you can notice yung right ni ni Black Panther uh, ay medyo pareho sila ng distance ng face from the viewer so sa perspective malapit din yung ninya so nasa foreground din yung right ninya so kailangan medyo maganda rin yung contrast mo ron so iniiwasan ko rin siyang i-paint para magkaroon ako ng as much contrast or value na ilalagay ko sa face later And very loose lang pagdating doon sa left hand niya kasi malayo siya sa perspective ng tao. So hindi ko siya kailangan buuin. Kung nakita niyo yung pencil line art, buo siya. Pero when I'm painting it na, hindi ko na siya kailangan uh, solid na solid. Kasi again, with watercolors, impression ang importante. Uh, mabigay mo lang impression na hand yun or kung sa landscape eh, puno yun or building yun, that that's fine as long as hindi siya yun yung focal point mo so right now medyo mix siya ng loose technique and tight at this point hindi ko pa rin alam talaga kung paano ko ipipaint yung yung left hand yung claws so I'm just leaving it at that I'll look at the reference later do sa costume niya You can see, I can, I'm spreading yung paint dito para wala, para wala ako masyadong sharp edges dito sa left hand niya. Kasi again, background subject siya eh. Hindi siya yung focal point ko. So, ini-spread ko yung paint. Parang, parang may blur siya, kumbaga. Sa camera yung... Sa photography, ang tawag doon yung focal blur. I, hindi, i, hindi talaga eksaktong blurring pag sa watercolor. Pero as, you, as long as you 
give the impression na nandun siya, meron tayong illusion na nagbablur na siya. Same thing goes with the right hand or yung right arm niya. Although yung right arm niya ay mas malapit yung perspective sa 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 tao, uh, I'm I'm giving it the same treatment as with the left arm or left hand. Kasi again, hindi siya focal point. Pwede siya maging mas darker siguro later or mas may konting detail. Pero it should be painted as loose as possible. Pareho again nung left arm niya. So I'm spreading the paint with the tissue or your finger, doesn't matter. Kung yung mas, mas easily accessible sa'yo or mafe-feel mo naman yung technique mo eh. So again, uh, hindi kailangan solid na solid yung 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 hand, yung hand or yung arm. So nag-lift pa ako, nag-erase ako ng paint na sobra para maging cloudy effect niya. And of course, use your fingers para meron kang fingerprint talaga sa painting mo. So itong right, right hand, right fingers, yung claws niya, medyo I'm thinking mas may detail ito pag natapos. Kasi Kasi again, mas malapit na siya doon sa camera. And parang secondary focal point na siya. Kasi he's Black Panther. Kailangan mo, kailangan mo ipakita yung claws niya. Hindi lang yung face niya. And right now, and kung may kita nyo later, pag nag-zoom out tayo, uh, iniisip ko na pwede na rin itong Venom painting eh. So I think when a Venom movie comes out, I'm gonna paint Venom with the same technique. So I'm building the layers here. Pero medyo cloudy, loose lang din. And don't worry, kasi sumobra ka ng paint, lumagpas. Again, yung mga sobra-sobang paint, they look really messy right now. Pero don't worry, kasi again, with watercolors, once natapos mo na siya, or once na, 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 natuyo na yung paint, uh, nababawasan sila ng 30%, almost 30% sa value. So, maglalighten sila sobra. Especially pag pinaint mo na yung really dark areas nung, nung painting mo, Uh, halos hindi mo na makikita yung mga sobra o yung mga mistakes mo nung kaninang nag-underpainting ka or yung nag-initial layer ka. So, don't be too OC with your painting. Pag nagawa mo na yung, yung makakapal na layers mo, mawawala na sila. So, magiging parang ma-watermark sila sila or sobra-sobra. Parang special effects na lang sila. Wait, nagpapaganda rin ng watercolor, color, ng watercolor painting mo. I'm doubling up on the body right now para medyo dumidilim na. Uh, it's not exactly the second layer pa. Kumbaga nagbi-build up lang ako ng konti pang values kasi nakikita ko na it's still wet. Basa pa rin yung painting at this point. Pero since ma nagda-dry na siya, nagiging light na siya. So yun na uh, the left left uh tie medyo loose na yung painting style nito kasi malayo siya sa camera almost the same treatment with the left arm left hand and here I'm trying to get a darker value for for indigo para dito sa right knee niya which is closer to the to the viewer or to the camera right now I'm thinking kung pipaint ko ba sila na magkasing dark nung sa face I mean yung knee kung magkasing dark ba yung knee and yung face so ito yung thought process ko at this point in time pero logic will tell you na dapat magkasing dark sila ng value so continue lang sa buong arm and the hand uh, for the arm it's really loose painting mas darker, mas darker na yung value nung right arm nito uh, kaysa doon sa left arm kasi parang para medyo may smoke effect para may smoke effect na nangyayari doon sa left arm so parang may fog okay detail so far there's the arms arm hands claws so mas malino na yung detail na to yung knee medyo pantay pa siya ng value doon sa body i don't know kung ano pa mangyayari pero, pero you can see na yung ano yung overall 3D effect na nung painting natin Okay?
spray ulit natin yung paper dahil lalagyan na natin siya ng I think mas darker background. So uh, at this point hindi yun na since dry na dry na yung background, hindi yung unang painting natin under under paint. Halos white na siya, hindi yun siya mahalata kasi dry na siya. And then may paint na kasi yung body ni Black Panther. So by contrast, parang ang light light na nung pinili natin kanina. So while natutuyo yung Black Panther subject natin, uh, I thought it would be best na pagtunan na ng pansin yung background. Sa reference ko, um, nasa cave siya eh, or katabi niya yung mountain. It feels like a cave. So it, it's really dark except for the area kung saan nakatayo si, si Panther. I'm trying to be careful here kasi uh, meron tayong detail na kailangan alagaan doon sa claws niya. Again, the claws are important. Kailangan makita ng tao na may 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 sharp claws siya. You know what this reminds me of? After this is reminding me of yung mga makeup vlog tutorials sa YouTube. Although hindi ako nag-makeup, nagpipaint ako. Okay, backgrounds. Ang gumagawa tayo ng parang chiaroscuro effect na darker, may, may, may vignette tayo uh, sa edges ng painting. And then lighter towards towards the subject area. Para siyang may halo or vignette na. I'm loosely painting over yung hand para medyo nagbe-blend siya sa background din. And natadagdagan din yung value niya at the same time. I think sumobra ako ang konti doon. Kaya ayusin, medyo ayusin lang. Na-realize ko na natu natutuyo na yung nasa right area nung yeah, itong gilid na to hindi ko na siya may spread that is because uh, that is be, that is because uh, inapply ko yung sepia by the way this is pure sepia inapply ko yung sepia ng konti lang yung water almost yogurt very thick kasi gusto ko na na magkaroon ng solid na vignette na 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 dark talaga so dagdagan pa ng color here and there kung kulang sa value I'm sorry kung hindi ko na ibaba yung camera rito medyo na na carry the way lang ako pero may kita nyo rin naman yung output later Basically the same thing, spread lang ng spread, and then just don't worry about the being very careful. Again, I'm, I'm trying to intentionally leave watermarks para magkaroon ng distinct watercolor feel yung painting. So right now it looks very messy, parang ang gulo niya, pero you have to remember na basa pa yung paper dito. And once they dry out, mag even out yung mga lines na nakita nyo. And yung ibang lines, uh, yung ibang wet areas, yung mga pools sa paper magiging uh, watermarks. Okay, dagdagan natin yung sprinkling. You can do this by salt then. Pero, I'm, I'm, I, na-discover na, na-discover ko na effective, effective din naman yung pag-sprinkle lang ng pure water, clean water. So, nag sila ng interest points para yung mata mo hindi lang kay Black Panther pupunta. Pupunta rin siya sa ibang points ng painting kahit walang subject doon. This one is a little dry na. 
you can notice na pin wrap up ko na uli yung painting. This is around 35 degrees. And I'm testing the... This one I think is paints gray na. So I, I tested the paints gray. Para yung kapal niya. You can see yung do sa lower right hand corner na almost no water na siya. So yun ang tawag. So watercolor, tinatawag natin siya na yogurt consistency na. So parang makapal na siya. So again, test of patience. Dahil gumagawa ka ng detail. So this is almost black na talaga. Kasi nasa focal point area ulit tayo ngayon. And I really want to capture yung sharp, sharp areas para sa base niya. Para sa mask niya. Patience, patience. Uh, kasi ito yung important part. So, I'm hoping at this point na ito na yung final layer for the face. So, pag natuyo ito, uh, I don't think kailangan ko pa siyang dagdagan ng paint pa. Kasi uh, maganda na yung values niya. So, if you don't mind, I'm gonna skip forward a bit. And I love what's happening to sa mask niya so far. Yung, yung loose or tight, tight technique. Pero, again, I, I smudged out a few areas there kanina para pag pinatungan mo siya, uneven din yung patong mo. So, meron na, parang nakakaroon na ng uh, spectral highlights to sa mask niya. So, hindi na yung mat na mat lang yung face niya. So, may, may shiny areas na siya. Which is important kasi I'm assuming that superhero siya uh, spandex or, or leather yung gamit niya rito. But if we remember yung nangyari do sa movie I think this is armor hindi ko lang kung may leather yung armor niya or may if it's metal oh I think it's vibranium same same material with uh, Captain America's shield tama ba vibranium I don't know if it's supposed to be adamantium then sa comics. Pero I guess uh, hindi nila pwedeng gamitin yung adamantium for Marvel movies. Kasi adamantium is connected with the X-Men and Wolverine. So I like what's coming on so far dito sa hand niya, sa claws. Medyo hindi ko naintindihan kasi yung pag-paint ko kanina while doing the initial layer. So... I went back to the reference which is posted lang din dito sa dingding ko. I went back to the reference and checked out yung kusa talaga nakalagay yung fingers niya. And yung thumb niya uh, mas nililinawan ko lang kung nasaan sila. So again, more detail on the body. Being Be careful with the claws or teeth na nandun sa necklace niya. And as you go further down, uh, you can start to paint loosely, more loosely. Dahil mawala ka na doon sa focal area. So, mas may spread mo siya. And here, uh, nandito na tayo sa knee area, and knee and thigh area niya. Yung nearest uh, viewer or the camera. So, iniingatan ko again itong part na to kasi since parang secondary focal point na siya kailangan sharp din yung contrast mo so wala mo nang blurring blurring ul ulit so I'm, I'm still thinking kung paano ko siya i-coconnect do sa whole body niya at this point I love na nag-start na siya mag-dry yung upper body and nagkakaroon na siya ng 3D effect again Right now, mukha siyang body ni Ultron. Left eye area, medyo loose painting, mabilis. I'm doing darker values. 
kasi I realized na kailangan mas malapit pa rin siya sa camera compared to sa left arm niya biceps more values on the biceps than the torso pero again loose pa rin walang sharp areas don't forget na you're doing impressions and missing parts nung color nung pain uh, it usually implies motion and softening the edges hindi kailangan ng konting smudge pag masyado siyang perfect masyado siyang clean uh, yun yung iniwas ako usually Generally, you want your watercolors to to have more botchiness or watermarks, of course. But mostly random, random, random places that may paint and may parts that na nawawala. I think for this, uh, and dito tayo sa hand part. Ito na yung pinaka last layer niya, kasi we're having really good dark values na. And the claws are really taking shape. Yeah, sharp na siya. So remember, for kung first layers mo palang siya, as long as hindi ka na nagori sa highlights mo, you can paint your your subject like what I did, what I did with this one sa hand, na very loosely lang, sama-sama pa yung mga fingers, parang isang pasadahan la sila lahat. Because when you go back and do your details with a darker value and then with a darker value in the paint, you need opportunity mo para I clear up yung para I clear up yung edges. And I think we're ready to do the knee part. So I think hindi pa ako certain kung ano yung details nitong knee part ni Black Panther. So hindi ko pa dinadarken yung values ng paint. So I had to go back to the reference para makita yung muscle detail para medyo may tama naman yung anatomy. And so na sa as soon as I have the details for the knee part, yung anatomy. I went back, yeah, I went back and wet on wet applied a darker value na. Still being careful, the uh, edges, the uh, highlights. Kasi you want the knee part to pop out pa rin from the body. Don't be afraid na maglift pa rin kasi again, hindi hindi pa rin siya yung talagang focal point mo. Here is so far. Nearly done na tayo. Well, medyo moist pa rin yung torso part kasi pinatungan natin siya ng darker value. You have to apply your final layer na. So this is not actually yung third layer kasi basa pa rin yung yung second layer na pinatong natin. This is more of enforcing lang yung values do sa second layer. And nakita natin na nagpapop out na yung necklace niya o yung vest area. Putting in some lines para may detail. So I went back to the poster reference. I realized na meron pala siyang breastplate or yung breast area. And I forgot na I had it penciled in the sa initial line art. So yun yung medyo mahirap pag ka sobrang light na yung line art mo. Once you add in yung first second layers ng watercolor, mawala na yung pencils. So you have to have a, a good reference or a good memory. 
Ayan. Magkalimutan mag-add ng uh, highlight areas. Lift a few here and there. So as not to make everything very flat and very solid. Even when I do landscapes, uh, I'm, I try hard na hindi maging solid or flat. Perfect flat washes yung mga buildings, yung mga walls. Kasi in real life, hindi naman meron, meron kayong may kitang dirt, wear and tear. So, may batches of paint na nangyayari. So, you have to do that with your paints too. Even with costumes like this, maganda kung may impression ka ng motion, uh, mood, atmosphere. So, yung nakikita nyo right now, uh, ito yung mga final stages na ng paint. Uh, very solid, almost black. This is paints gray by the way. So, nakikita nyo ngayon, once you put in yung really dark areas nung, nung painting nyo, lilitaw talaga yung white spots. So, especially dito yung eyes kasi wala talaga siya nung underpainting. So, it'll be very white. So, yun yung pinaka doon pupunta yung mata ng viewer ng painting mo sa eyes niya agad kasi yun yung pinaka maliwanag. And then, nandun din sa face yung pinaka dark. That's a theory sa watercolor. Uh, your focal point should have the lightest, lightest uh, areas and the darkest, darkest shadows. Kung marami kang areas sa painting mo na paper white or pure white, malilito yung eyes ng viewer kung saan pupunta. So, dapat isa lang or yung focal point mo lang talaga sa painting mo ang may pure white. As I mentioned earlier, kung, dito, kung tatanggalin yung yung ears niya, uh, ito na yung mas ni kick ass. Don't be afraid to get dirty with your fingers. I don't know if that sounded right. And we're almost done. Enforcing lang yung shadows sa hands. Lagyan ng konting structure dito sa fingers. Sa claws. And time to sign it. So this is a brush pen I used for calligraphy or lettering before. And I think maganda siya sa sa paintings. So, the final detail. So, we can see the, the knee part. Yung may highlights din siya. May white areas. I love the hands. The claws. Uh, parang kamay na ni Venom. And you can see the, the water splashes dito. Yung sprinkles. Same effect with salt actually. Pero, at least hindi mo na kailangan to get your hands dirty with the salt. And, you see, you saw the head. And here's the final version. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the painting process. Ko. Uh, I hope you have learned If you like this, this will be for sale. I'll be posting this on Instagram page. Ko. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, I'm posting the link below in the description box. And if you want to the paints that I use and the brushes, I'm posting then links of the discounted items na pwede nyo bilhin online. And that's it. I hope nag-enjoy kayo. Like, comment, subscribe, make requests, ask questions, and I'll do my best para masagot ko sila lahat. Again, ako pa rin si Lay, and thank you for watching.